guess, my educated guess on this, uh, this one would not be viable because it didn't ha have a head and they would it certainly wouldn't be delivered a normal way. They would have to do surgery. Um, no doctor is going to allow that to happen full term. You know, if the, pre if the female is pregnant through a blood test, they know how far along the patient is or whatever, and there's not a pregnancy in the uterus. They know it's ectopic and they can go looking for it. And they would not allow, that's um, a danger to the, not only to the fetus, typically they're not viable, um, but also to the patient. And so typically a doctor would not allow that to occur. Now maybe the patient said, oh yes you will, I'll take that risk and that's the patient's right. But my thought is somebody like this or maybe like that did not have proper health care and they didn't know. And you know, they're still having their periods and they wouldn't know. Maybe they're just gaining weight. Maybe they, maybe they have pain, but they can't afford to go to a doctor. So that's where you see these really extreme cases is when there's not appropriate health care, or they don't seek it. Um, so that's my, you know, weird case study for the, you know, millennium. Uh, here <laughs> is uh, another one. Notice how it's tilted. Uh, this is, they're not using a balloon, they're using a little stopper. This is an, uh, more of an old-fashioned one where the, um, it's not a balloon on the in internal os, it's on the external os, it's a stopper. Um, between the external os and the vaginal canal. You can see they use this macula here. You mm -hmm. see this? Another tenaculum. And look at this mess. Okay, this is, uh, this is oil based. Do you see the globules? Do you see the beating mm -hmm. up? Oil does that. What happens when you have oil and water or oil and anything else? They don't mix. It globs, it globs up. And so um, that's how you can tell oil based contrast media. And it's very opaque. You can see some of it is coming back down. Look how tilted that one is. So, um, and what's that in ultrasound? This will be way over here, and you're scanning over here, and the ovary is way over here somewhere. So, okay, so some congenital anomalies. Look at this. Um, there are different ways. I just would feel very um, bad for these women. You can have two separate ut uteri with two um, cer cervix. So typically you could have, I mean, not typically, you could have a fetus in here and then two months later get pregnant in that one. Um, yes. Here's one where you still have the two cervix. Um, here you have one cervix. So there's different ways. And look at this one. You can see that um, it looks like two cervix, two um, neuri. So this is a reverse. This is like a, a subtraction. Uterus and a half. There you go. So do they have do they have two periods? Probably I don't. I mean you know double the pleasure, double the fun. I don't. <laughs> uh, you, here, this is another one to show you. I don't see any um, very much leakage, but um, here again very much tilted over to one side. You see the balloon. Contrast. Oh, here's the contrast. Me, you can see it bubbling up. That's oil. But again, looking at the uterus and there's a floating tube and then the contrast media is spilling out. Here's one, look at this retroverted, retroflexed uterus. Those are congenital anomalies. A lot of women don't have the perfect uterus um, at midline. This one is retroverted and retroflexed, meaning tilted and flipped over. But you can see the floating tube right there and right, a little bit right there. So, but you see leakage of a spillage on those sides. 